What's up guys, Dom out of here, and today we're gonna be reacting to a new channel. I don't think we've reacted to this one. So this is Anton in Japan, and this is a, a short video from him called 2024 Japan has a huge problem. Uh, I'm gonna assume this is about the birth rate crisis, because I think like that's probably the biggest thing that when people think of like issues in Japan, probably the number one that they think of. I'm assuming it's gonna be what this is a reference to, but Regardless, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Let me tell you why. Guys, look at this abandoned house that I just bought in central Tokyo. My new ghost house. This house was one of Japan's 10 million abandoned houses. Most of them are located in the countryside. But this one is located in Shinjuku. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, an issue with their population. Um, J Japanese population, I believe it was a couple of years ago. They actually, yeah, they've been declining since... They peaked in... 2008, 21.28.1 million, and then 28. Point, yes, 2008 to 2010, they had the same population. Then it goes down 2011, 12, and then it just it starts going down more and more quickly. Um, yeah, they're at a annual growth rate of z minus like negative 0.4 percent. Uh, so yeah, obviously a lot of uh, open houses starting to houses starting to become open. Close to Tokyo's red light district. But why are there so many abandoned houses? Called Akia in Japanese. And what will you do with this house, Anton? My plan with this house is to save as much of the old beautiful details as possible. Preserving these tatami rooms. Mixing Scandinavian and Japanese details on the first floor. japan style. Similar to my previous renovation project that Caleb Simpson toured last year. Excuse me. Really yeah. cool. How much do you pay for rent in Japan? It's hard for Americans and Europeans to understand the reason behind these abandoned houses. And if you have Japanese... I mean, not really. When you look at the birth rate crisis, it's pretty easy to understand. Right. Japanese friends, the probability of them possessing an akia is pretty high due to earthquakes and other cultural factors. Japanese houses usually depreciate in value. And in 2023, Japan's population dropped by 800,000 people. And in 2033, there will be about 22 million abandoned homes in Japan. Let's save God, this damn. house and make this our best renovation project so Please far. Please follow along. For more Japan and renovation. Yeah, no wonder Japan's focused so hard on trying to get the birth rate up. Um, it's honestly kind of crazy, but I, I, I think the problem is no one has the political capital or desire to do what's necessary to fix the birth rate issue. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I can't see it being fixed until you have basically until the point where religious communities, you know, with traditional gender roles become majority or near majority of the population again. Uh, and this will happen in different rates in different countries. So, like, for example, in the United States, between Mormons and the Amish, I think it's 21-20. They're the two combined are expected to be the majority of the population. The birth rate will be through the roof at that point, right? Um, I, as, as long as you have irreligious, feminist, um, you know, basically what modern Western society is, and as it's been exported to South Korea and Japan, as long as that's the predominant culture, the, the birth rate crisis is going to continue. Uh, but it is a self-correcting issue. It's just these societies, these nation states need to be able to defend themselves from outsiders, uh, you know, for that time, which Japan seems to be doing far better than the West. The West is just kind of inviting them in, uh, whereas Japan is doing a much better job of protecting its culture and will rebound. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.